Hey guys, what's up? This is Kamna Jain from Team Digital Deepak and welcome to the next video in Digital Marketing Tools Mastery. In today's video, we'll cover a really interesting tool which is known as Loom. Now, Loom is more like a video communication software which allows you to reach people and to teach people. Pretty amazing, right? So it basically makes communication to your customers and within your team really easy. So that's the main purpose of Loom. And what we'll do is in today's video, we'll be exploring the different features it offers basically and entire overview the features in the basic plan. And we'll also have a look at how the premium plan is different, the pricing options, and we'll see how you can use Loom as a Chrome extension as well as in the desktop version. So that is what we'll be covering. And before we do that, let me take you to the pricing section. So right now they're offering the pro plan at $5 per month, but that is only because of the COVID situation. Generally, the price of the pro plan is at $10 per month. So if you see here, they have four types of plans. And if you want the business and enterprise plan, which is pretty advanced, you need to request access. But apart from that, for the basic and pro plan, let's explore those. So the account you get, if you just click here, it says that can access a workspace, create, edit and organize video. So basically the person who will own the account that is limited to one in the basic and pro plan each in viewer accounts is basically you can just view videos in the team library, but not create anything that is not available. And public views is obviously, you know, the videos you share with them. So they can view your videos, but they do not have access to your workspace. So that is unlimited. But if you see the video limit, so though they can view it, when we talk about video limit, which is the number of videos you can access, that means the number of videos which you can store on your Loom account is actually 25 but it's only unlimited till july 1st in the basic plan and in the pro plan and the others it's absolutely free and if you just go below you'll also be able to explore various options like in depth in details about the different kind of features which loom offers so let's get started and i have a gmail account in fact where i have not created a loom account so in this video, I'll go and actually sign up for Loom from that particular account. So what will happen is once you click on sign in and choose your Google account, it will show you a screen where you will have to go and just accept the privacy terms. So once you choose your Gmail account, you get this option. So click on I agree. And once you do that, you just fill in these basic options. What will you use it for? So here's where you can either just install the desktop app. I already have it, but if you don't, you need to click on this, save it and it will start downloading. You can also download the Chrome extension. So for me, as you can see, it's already installed on the top right. And then you just need to click on continue after you have installed and chosen the option you would like to use. So what happens is when you create a new account, sometimes as soon as you try to access the extension, Loom will show you an error. In that case, don't worry. Just open a new tab, open Loom again, and grant the access to the video and audio settings and once you do that it will start working fine so this is how the new account looks and this is how your interface will look this pop-up will go away when you actually record your first video and this is where your camera will be visible so let me show you the different options here so that you understand how it works. Now, if your mic is working fine, the sound waves near microphone audio will keep moving. But if it's not moving, that means the audio is not being captured. So you need to recheck your audio settings. 
However, if it's moving, that means it's all fine and you are good to go. And moving on to videos, talking about the screen plus cam option, by clicking there, you will be able to record the screen and right now I close the camera but if I click on it again and I choose the camera and you will see that it's back. So that's the screen plus camera option. The second option is screen only and what is visible here is that this picture is still visible. So if I click on show advanced options, you can see use photo for screen only. Since this is on, my picture is visible here. If I close this, it will not be visible. So it's best to keep it on and you can close it manually if you don't want it instead of just keeping a default setting here. So your control menu is this. If you don't want it here, you can hide it and just directly control everything from your Chrome extension. This is the recording countdown. Once we start recording, you know what it means. And this is the third type of option, which is known as camera only. So when you record it, only your uh, camera is what is going to be recorded. Now one option here is flip camera. So if you see, if I uncheck it, it appears like this. And if I check it, it appears like this. So what this option does is that say you're showing something in writing and you see that it's inverted. You can click on flip camera and use it accordingly. Microphone source, you can either choose default or external, whatever you like and yeah these are pretty much the basic settings so let me go ahead and record a video and show you how you can do the editing as well so say i've chosen screen only full desktop is there there's current tab also if you just want to record your current tab and window i prefer full desktop so i'll click on start recording here it will ask me which screen do i want to share so I'm okay with the entire screen rather than just a particular window. So I'll go back to the entire screen option and choose that such that whatever is shown on my screen while Loom is working will get recorded. So now if you have observed the recording has started and there was a countdown as well. So whatever is shown on my screen, say Instagram. So if I go to Instagram and whatever I see on the screen will actually go ahead and get recorded for the purposes of the video so as you can see that whatever is loading is also something which will be visible in the video so what we can do is we can just stop the recording so if i want i can just pause it if i want i can cancel it but right now i want to finish it so i'll click on the tick mark and it automatically opens in a new tab and you can see that it's processing and since we are on the pro plan, what you will see is that once the processing is done, all these options such as trim, call to action and custom thumbnail will be ready to use. So that the video has processed, we are able to use different features. So by using trim, what you can do is you can choose any particular part. Say from here, I click on start trimming and I take it till here and I click on say remove and then I also go here and click on start trimming and from 36.5 to 40 seconds I don't want that section either so I'll click on remove and once I have chosen all the sections which I don't want I'll click on publish changes and you'll see that it takes some time for it to process and once it's done your video will get trimmed and only those parts which you have not removed will stay Another option which is the call to action, this is only offered in the pro plan. So you can see that you can write any button text here. So say you want to redirect them to your YouTube channel. So you could have written something like visit YouTube now. And on the button URL, you can say give the URL to your particular channel and click on save. Now what will happen at the user's end is at the end of the video, the call to action button will be visible on the main screen as you can see here and while they are watching it, you can see that on the top right, the button is visible and it's clickable for the viewers and it will redirect them to YouTube in a new tab. So that's the call to action and custom thumbnail is obviously something which you want to put as a thumbnail for your video. It's the common feature. Now, 
A good feature is you can add a password to your video so that only those people who have the password can actually view your video. Now I'll take you to another account which is on the basic that is the free version of Loom. What happens is there you do not have most of the features. So say I open this video and here I can only trim but I cannot add a call to action or a thumbnail it says I need to upgrade to Pro. So these are two major features you lose out on if you're not using Pro. So this is how the Chrome extension looks like and now I'll take you to the desktop version of Loom. So say I search on my desktop for Loom and now we are on the desktop version of Loom and we will sign in with Google. And once we are signed in, you can see that this is where the camera is visible. You can increase or decrease the size or even make it into a rectangular recording. Apart from that, you can see that if we go to preferences, there are some special settings which are available only on the desktop. So here's where you can choose your default quality. Now highlight mouse clicks. So if you would have observed, there was a yellow highlight and that was coming because this option was on. Flip camera, you have seen what it's like, recording countdown, control menu, record audio in mono and enable do not disturb, which obviously stops any other sounds from obstructing your video. Here's your account and some shortcuts you can use. So what really happens is these things are the same. And again, you can see here that custom size is an option, which is only available in Pro. So if you are using a basic account, you can just say click on screen only followed by start recording and post that the countdown will start which will begin the screen recording and you can see that it started recording so here's a different feature which is annotations so what you can do is you can choose a pen color and you can mark it on your screen and it will disappear in two seconds so that's an additional feature apart from the mouse clicks which you get on the desktop version and as soon as you click on stop recording it will again open here and you can go ahead with the same process edit it if you like and any other settings otherwise you can just simply copy this link and share it with whoever you would like to and that's right they will be able to view your video and what will happen is anytime somebody sees your video you will also be able to get a notification to activate it, click on the notifications icon. So if you enable this option, that's when you'll be able to get these notifications. So this is how you can use Loom. We saw the different features in the basic and the pro plan and how you can edit your videos, share them and make the most out of Loom. So I hope this video was helpful for you and you go ahead, sign up for Loom, start making videos and start using them right away. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.